Hello everyone and welcome to the next lecture video in Theory of Computation. In previous lecture video, we have discussed about some of the basic terms that are used throughout this course. In this lecture video, we will study about finite automata and its models that is DFE and NFE. So let's get started. Finite automata. A finite automata is a mathematical, that is, model abstract machine that consists of set of states and its control that moves from one state to another state in response to some inputs. That is, this automata is nothing, it is just a model of automatic machines and it consists of set of states and control. And this control moves from one state to another on the basis of inputs. The control of finite automata are of two types. One is deterministic and other is non-deterministic. If the control is deterministic, then the movement is fixed. That is, for any input, let's say A and state, let's say Q, it always moves to some fixed state, let's say R. That means it has no choice or alternatives. In the case of non-deterministic control, the movement is not fixed. That means for any input A and state Q, it can move to more than one state. Let's say R, maybe S, maybe T and so on. That is, it have alternatives or choices. Now, if the finite automata have deterministic control, then this type of finite automata is called deterministic finite automata in sort DFE. Similarly, if the finite automata has non-deterministic control, then this type of finite automata is called non-deterministic finite automata and sort NFE. Representation of finite automata. There are two types of representation for the finite automata. One is state diagram, which is also called transition diagram and another is transition table. That is, these two are the representation technique for representing the model of automatic machines. State diagram. It is a graphical representation of finite automata that consists of following components. First one is circle. That represents intermediate states. Second one is arrow with labeled input symbol. Let us suppose A. This represents transition based on input symbol. Third one is circle and arrow in front represents initial state 
similarly the fourth one is double circle this represents final or accepting state now let's see an example of state diagram first initial state let us suppose q0 0 q1 This is one of the example of representing the file tomata using state diagram. In this state diagram, Q0 is starting state since it has a arrow in front of it. Similarly, Q1 is a intermediate state and Q2 is accepting state. Now this arrow indicates that the machine moves from Q0 state to Q1 on receiving the input symbol 0. Similarly, this arrow indicates that the machine moves from state Q1 to Q2 which is accepting state on receiving either 0 or 1 as a input symbol. Similarly, this arrow indicates that the machine moves from Q2 state to Q1 on receiving the input symbol 0. Similarly, this arrow indicates that the machine does not change its state after receiving the input symbol 1. This is the example of representing the finite automata using a state diagram. And the next one representation technique is transition table. In this method, we create a table-like structure and the first row, that is these, are filled with input symbols and the first column, that is these, are filled with states. And these boxes are filled with new states which represents the movement on the basis of this state and this input symbol. Similarly, this box represents the movement on the basis of this state and this input. Now let's represent the above state diagram using transition table method. Here we write Q0, Q1, and Q2. Similarly, here we write input symbols that is 0 and 1. This is the initial state. So, arrow is given there. And this is the accepting state. So, star is given to the accepting state. And here we write a new state which indicates the movement of machine from state Q0 after receiving the symbol 0. That is, here in this figure, the machine moves to state Q0 to Q1 on receiving the input symbol 0. That's why here we write Q1. Similarly, the machine does not change its state on receiving the input symbol 1 from Q0. So, we write Q0 here. So, similarly, the machine moves to the state Q2 after receiving the symbol 0 from state Q1. That's why here we write Q2. Similarly, in this case, the machine switches to state Q2 on receiving the input symbol 1 from the state Q1. And here we write the state Q1. Here we write the state Q0. This is the example of transition table 
representation of finite automata. That's all in this lecture video. If you have any questions, then leave the comment below. And please like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching this video.